Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, I'm going to talk about is Canada worth it for architects and interior designers or not? A lot of you have been asking me this question and so I had to make this video specifically for all of you. So without any delays, let's get started with the video. As all of you know that I have been here in Canada from past two and a half years, approximately two and a half years. I have studied two courses here. One course was back in India and I did my green architecture over here and then I started working, which was last year. And I worked as a BIM coordinator and right now also I'm working in BIM industry as a content developer. So this is my just overview of how I have been here and what I have done. So I would say first thing, let's start with the job opportunities. Right now in our industry, the job opportunities are a bit less. People are not hiring on that basis, like how they were hiring a year back or two, three years back, like before COVID. So there is still a economic a uh, crisis i would say that is going on here in canada they want to build more houses but the mortgage loans and everything the mortgage rates and everything are so high now that people are not buying the houses the property rates are high so when a builder is not able to sell their previous property they are not going to build new properties so there is a, a stalemate kind of situation right now over here in Canada, but it doesn't mean that there are no jobs available at all. There are jobs, they are hiring, but they are hiring people who have a little bit of more experience. Uh, companies are not taking that much of risk with hiring people, hiring youngsters, hiring newcomers to Canada. So this is something that I wanted to share with you. So this is the job aspects of it. Next point is how much time will you take to get your first job? So giving my example, I had around three, four years of experience back in India. And then I came here, I did my two courses and still it took me around three and a half months to four months to get a decent job. I did get a previous job offer but those companies were not that good or the job classification was not up to my standards uh, so i didn't take those that's why it took me around three to four months to find my first job as a bim coordinator or it can take even more so don't be like very hopeful or like very uh, positive optimistic about like you will get job in a month or two because it affects your psychology. Because I was thinking like that. I was thinking that, okay, I will graduate in a month or something, I will find a job, but that's not the case. That didn't happen. So that's, this is something that you have to keep in mind. Now coming to the next aspect, how much time it takes for us to get registered here. So guys, this is a very sad thing. Uh, here you, won't get a title of architect you will get a maximum title of a designer or a architecture technician or a consultant but you won't get a title of an intern architect as well like nothing so for that you will have to get yourself registered in CACB CACB is the governing body that gives accreditation to the architects here in Canada. So you have to send all your documents to CACB. Then they will verify your degree that your degree is up to the mark of Canadian education standards or not. And once they have approved that, you can call yourself as an intern architect. And once you have received the title after getting yourself registered with CACB, it will take around, by the way, it will take around uh, three to four months for your uh, all your documents to get approved from CACB and it will take around $1,900 to get this process started. So keep that thing in your mind that it's not that easy and it takes a lot of time and then you will be clocking in your hours if you are working as an intern architect if you are working in some other field like bim or architecture technologist or something probably your hours won't be counted 
so keep this thing in mind and your hours are around 3000 plus hours 3570 hours so that timing is also pretty huge it will take you around three to four years to get those timings and hours for yourself and after you have gotten that you can call yourself architect and your salary will increase to 70 or 80k and in three four years no matter what you are doing even if, if you are an intern architect your salary will increase it's not that bad over here as everyone all around you would be portraying but it is tough it is not easy anymore because i have had friends who have come here uh, before covid era and their life is set they have they are already in good job good positions they have been working for the same firm for like past two three years so they are pretty good stable right now here in canada so that is something that i wanted to share with all of you that if you are looking to make your life better to earn a little bit of more money to have a good luxurious life canada is a good option guys you won't get the opportunity to design over here but you can work in the same industry design opportunities are very less very rare uh, if you get yourself into a designing firm if you get yourself a title of a designer then definitely you will be working on designs but or else you will be working on more of production drawings you will be working on working drawings and so on and so forth so that is something that you have to keep you keep in your mind that no matter what you are getting just grab it for now don't leave something that uh, is not suitable for you but obviously don't go for something that is like a draftsman position or something if you have experience if you have talent value yourself but i would say keep these things in your mind that you won't get everything very easily but overall if you'll see you will have a good life because i know what happens with us in india how much the companies are paying we are always underpaid clients don't pay uh, even the atmosphere in architecture firms is torturous uh, the best thing about canada i would say is they don't torture you they won't ask you to stay till 12 or 1 1 am i'm talking about in at office if they have a timeline restriction or something if they ask you if they ask you they will pay you for that so this is something which is really amazing about canada that people do value their time the people do value your time and your efforts and it is actually illegal as well to make someone work overtime and not pay them for that overtime unless and until it is written in your contract so this is something that you have to keep in mind that overall this scenario is good for architects or interior designers but it will take you time to get yourself established to get yourself at a good position to earn a really good amount over here so that you can live very luxuriously like i'm living a very decent life like i would say a middle class life is what i'm living right now i have a good room I haven't rented the entire apartment because right now, given the scenario and the salary that I'm earning, I can't do that. Plus, I have education loans as well, so I'm not risking that. So these are the factors that will count when you are calculating, like, is it a good decision or not? If you have loans like me, I would say it will take us time to get established over here. It will take uh, at least two to three years. I'm in my second year. so probably one more year and I will get rid of my loans. It's not that difficult that uh, you won't be able to pay your loan. That's for sure. You will be able to pay your loan even if you are not working into architecture industry, even if you are working in some other jobs like security jobs that I have done before, uh, you will be able to pay your loans. So don't worry about the loan. It will just take you longer probably like you won't be able to pay your loan in just one year or something but you will be able to so that's the part of economics 
by the end i just want to conclude with this part that you will need at least 2 to 3 years of your life to get yourself set over here i'm still trying to set myself over here i'm still trying to uh, make my way up the ladder i am trying to get better opportunities better jobs and stuff like that so yeah it is it is tough weather is tough uh, you will get frustrated you will get tired you will feel very homesick i still it's been two and a half year and i still feel homesick every week every week there is a point where i think like oh shit why 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 did i choose to come here but then i look back what i was doing there how much i was getting paid and how much efforts i was taking to get that amount of payment and uh, then i feel like it wasn't worth it back at home no matter how much i miss my home my country but i know that this is a better deal overall it's just the matter of patience just have your patience keep your head calm stay in touch with your family all the time stay in touch with your friends friends are very important here you won't have actual friends for sure because the overall quality of life is good but the quality of relationships and the friendships and the people around you won't be that good even if it's good they won't have time for you or you won't have time for them it's very busy over here everyone is hustling everyone is doing two jobs everyone has their own problems own mindset own groups so there will be times where you will feel like you are surrounded by million people but you are all alone so this is the reality of Canada. The weather is tough, weather is harsh. Summers are beautiful, but winters are sick. It, it can make or break a deal for anyone. And till now, till now, I'm contemplating like, is Canada my final destination or not? So this is my overall feedback. My final conclusion is definitely it's a good deal. But if you want to practice design or become an architect, consider three years. At least three years it will take you to get yourself registered or four years to get yourself registered. So keep that mindset and then go ahead and proceed with your journey. If you think that you will get designing opportunities, you will be killing it over here. As I was thinking, uh, so sorry guys, it, it's not true there will be a lot of hardship that you'll be going through so guys if you have any kind of doubts or queries or anything about canada or my journey over here i'll be very happy to help you all so go ahead mention it in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel and support my channel guys i'm taking all these efforts just for you so go ahead hit a like and subscribe i'll see you soon guys Bye bye